Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have five more niches that you guys can be working on right now. All right, so in today's video, I want to uh, show you guys how you can create this design right here. This is actually my Etsy listing, and I'm going to be talking about how you can create, well, not only this socks, but how you can get that patterned design um, that word design using creative fabrica and so you can see here this is just one of my listings this one is for occupational therapy and what we've got is the socks that have you know ot on them and you know otd and occupational therapy and all of that and so you can see there's pretty simple mock-ups that came off of uh, printify and then of course i have my logo here i've got my title my price it is listed as on sale um, and so I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and do this. So the first thing we're going to do is jump over to Printify. And now that I'm on Printify, I'm just in the catalog section. And what we're going to do is go over and we're going to find the socks. And so you can find socks typically under, let's see, accessories and a, a few spaces down, you'll see socks. And so that's where I am going to go ahead and click there. And there are several different types of sublimation socks that you can choose from. Some will print a wrap around where you have one design that wraps all the way around the socks. Some you will have to do like a front and a back print. Um, and there will be like um, a line that kind of goes through the sides of the socks. So you really want to, you know, pick which kinds of socks that you want and design specifically for them. And so for this particular one, I did one that wrapped all the way around and I liked that better than the ones that had the crop lines down the sides. They were a little bit more expensive, but um, you know, here are some of the ones that there are. I think I was using these ones here that will wrap all the way around. There's some recycled ones. They tend to be a little bit more expensive. These ones are a little cheaper. I think those are the ones where you, you print front and back and there is gonna be a seam line down the side, but you can see there's several different versions to choose from. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and pick these ones right here. And what we can see is if I go ahead, scroll down, I can hit start designing. And these are the wraparound ones. So you only need pretty much one design and it's going to wrap all the way around and then we can put it on both socks. And so if I come over here, it will show you the print area size. Now this one is listed as 3,000 pixels by 5,254 pixels. And so that is what we'll be designing for. And we'll be using Canva um, to create the design or, or to kind of get that layout right. But I'm going to be using Creative Fabrica um, to get that pattern with the words. Um, so what we're going to do is jump over to Canva real quick. And in Canva, we're going to start by going to Custom Size. And we will be going ahead and putting in the pixels that were recommended by Printify. And so that was 3,000 pixels. And it was by uh, 5,254. And we'll hit create a new design. And so what we have here is this long area. And this is going to be the area for the sock. And so now to get the, the pattern that we're going to go ahead and put there, I'm going to jump over to Creative Fabrica. Now, Creative Fabrica has a ton of freebies. There are plenty of free graphics and there's plenty of free um, SVGs and free fonts that you can download. But if you want to use their tools, you do have to go ahead and sign up and have a subscription. Um, and it is worth it if you're going to use these tools. And so if I go to the tools section, there are two tools that I use the most. One is Font Cloud and one is Shape Cloud. One is going to give you that cool word pattern look, and the other one is going to give you the font glyphs. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and hit Shape Cloud. And this is Shape Cloud. So here is the example. You put in the words, however many words you want. You pick the shape. You pick the font. You pick the color. And it is going to give you this, right? And they have some weird shapes in here too. Now the cool thing is, for the socks, we don't need any specific weird shape. We just kind of need a rectangle. And so that is something that we can find. So if I go down here and I go to, you know, like miscellaneous, you'll see that's what it's on right now. We've got some random miscellaneous stuff. If I go over to basic, 
Now we're going to get some of those basic shapes. And one of the basic shapes is just sort of a rectangle. And so that is what we're going to be choosing here. And now we're going to pick our words. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these words. And for this specific example, I did occupational therapy socks. Now you can do any words that you want. And so this is a really easy one that you can pretty much do for any niche, but because I did occupational therapy, some of the things I put was OT, OTD, which is a doctor of occupational therapy. I did occupational, did therapy, and I did therapist. So I had five words right there. I have my rectangle shape. Now we can pick any font that we want um, that is, you know, listed. So there's not too, too many to choose from. The one that I chose was Libre uh, Baskerville, whatever that is. So it just gave more of a professional look. And then of course you can pick whatever color you want. And now you might have to think about the colors of socks that you're doing. So if you wanted like a white font on a darker sock, or if you wanted a, a colored font or a black font on a white sock. So, you know, think about what background color you want. I went ahead and just went with a black sock and did a lighter color font. And so you can pick any of the colors here that you like. Um, I wanted to do something that I could see, because if you do white, you really won't be able to see it when it comes up. So I went with this, you know, aqua color. And once you have all of those things selected, we can hit update changes. And then it's gonna go ahead and create our design for us. And so here's the design that it created. And so we can kind of see the way that it put this in here. Now, if you didn't like the way that it looked, we could kind of change the orders of the words. And when we do that, we hit update changes, it's gonna kind of re-alter the layout. And so you might do this you know, a few times until you get sort of that layout that you think is going to look best. This one actually looks pretty good, but let's say that I wanted to change it and I'm just going to get rid of OT and I'm going to rewrite OT, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go with OT and add it back in. And now I'm going to update changes again. And so you can see now it's changed it. So now it looks a little bit different and we can do this as many times as we want again until you get the layout that you like. And so I like this one. I'm going to go with this one because I like that the OT is really big and it's on top along with the occupational therapy therapist. I like the layout of this one the best. And so once you have it the way you want it, you can just go ahead, hit download design. You are going to want to save it as a PNG. Um, and so we'll just go ahead and hit that and it'll take a second, but it'll go ahead and download that for you. And once it's downloaded, we can just go ahead and jump right back over to Canva. Um, and so now here I am on Canva. I'm going to go ahead and just start by making the background color here black because that's the color I'm going to want my socks to be. And then I'm going to go over to uploads and we're going to go ahead and upload the file that we just had. And so here is my file. Now you could, you know, try to stretch this out over the whole thing. So for example, I could really stretch it out like that. Problem is it's going to cut off the OT and well, you don't want that. You want the OT to be entirely on there. So what you're actually gonna wanna do is shrink it down. And I'm gonna shrink it down so that it is about halfway through this design. And once I get it to that halfway point, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit Control D so I'm duplicating it and I'm gonna put it side by side. So by doing that, not only am I not cutting off the OT, but now I'm adding OT and it, as it wraps around, you'll end up with OT on kind of either side of the sock. And so that's going to work out really well. And then I just go ahead, hit control D again, duplicate it and bring it back down and I'm creating the pattern this way. And so that is what I did to get that look on the sock. Oops. So it's kind of like that. And I just sort of kept going and it's okay if we crop off the bottom there. And so there you go. And so that is the pattern that I have kind of on the socks that I showed you at the beginning. Now, if you wanted to, we could go ahead and take all of these and move them down the page a little bit. So if I was to kind of take all of that and group it and then go ahead and just move the whole thing down a little bit, what I could do is end up with a black border on the top of the sock, which is something I've done with a few of them just to kind of get that little black border look and it looks kind of cool there. So let's say I'm going to do that just so I can show you guys. I'm going to go with OT. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and title it. Let's put OT sock. OT sock. 
and we're going to go ahead and download this. Now, I don't need it to be a transparent background because I'm going to go with the black, but you can because you can also do the black color of the sock, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm just going to go ahead, we're going to hit download, and it will download that. And now what we can do is go ahead and jump right back over to Printful. And now we're going to go ahead and upload it right here. So I am going to go over to upload my device and we'll up upload the OT sock. And there it is. So now I've got the OT sock and I can put up here, apply to all areas. And that'll go ahead and put it on both sides or both legs. So now when I go back and forth, they're going to be the same. And then color select variants, I can go ahead. It's only on white. That is the, you know, only color variant that there is. There is only one size, there's only one length. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Background color, you know, this is where I could select the background color if I hadn't already made the whole background that's solid black. I'm still going to put black here just in case there's any gaps in the printing. I want to make sure everything ends up black where it should be. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to preview so that you guys can see what this is going to look like. And so here are the socks. Let me show you the side view. And there you go. So those are the socks. And that actually looks pretty close to the listing that I showed you in the beginning, the OT listing. And so what you'll see with these socks and most of them is that they're going to have that black heel and that black toe. So they're all going to have the black heel, black toe, which is why I went ahead and did the black background and a little kind of black along the top to give it sort of that overall look. You don't have to do that. You can certainly have um, the text going all the way to the top, which is what I did in the listing that I showed you guys, but you can also do that sort of just black border there. Um, and of course you could do a different color for the actual sock, but you're still going to end up with the black heel and the black toe there. So if you're happy with the way that that looks, all you would have to do would be to go to save product. And from here, you would just go ahead and select the mockups. So I would just go ahead and click on each one of them. I probably don't need left and right, they're the same. So maybe there and there, and then I would go ahead, hit save selection. From here, you can pick whichever one's going to be your primary. It really doesn't matter because you can change it once you get to your Etsy page anyways, but let's just say I go with that as a primary. I can go ahead and put in my title and the title I used on Etsy, if I was to go back real quick, it just said, here we go. Occupational therapy socks, gift for occupational therapist, occupational therapy thank you gift, occupational therapy graduation gift. Of course, your title's going to change depending on what niche you do and what words you chose to use. But, you know, think about gifts, think about, um, you know, mentioning socks, you know, whether it's a birthday gift or a thank you gift or a gift for, you know, whatever your niche happens to be, right? So pretty straightforward, easy come back over here, you've got your description. If you're selling in the EU, you're now going to have to add this description on, which is easy enough to do. You just hit add description and it'll add it right onto the bottom there. So you don't have to worry about that. You can go ahead and select your tags. Of course, this is going to change depending on what niche you did. Um, so don't, you know, I'm not going to show you guys all that because it just depends on what you choose. You can add in personalization now if you wanted to. So if you wanted to offer this as they can pick their own words, you could try to do it that way and say, you know, go ahead and select your own words. Um, but they're not going to be able to necessarily see how it's going to look when they, you know, choose it. And then, of course, you've got your pricing. So it's going to give you you know, what they, the suggested retail price is, what the profit would be, profit margin, um, the production cost, you know, the fees, the shipping. I make them pay for the shipping. So assuming they pay the shipping, I don't have to worry about that. The production cost is 1013. I've brought mine down pretty low in terms of pricing, just because I think 2095 is going to be kind of expensive for people to spend if they're also having to do the shipping. Now that's $26 worth of socks. Um, so I brought it down to $14.99 and they pay shipping. I think that's a little bit more affordable. Of course, I marked up my retail price because I was going to put it on sale. And I think I have mine as like a 40% off sale. So I had it marked up. Let's see. I had them listed as $24.98, put it on sale for 40% off. So the price is $14.99 that I'm selling them for. It's a small profit margin, but if you sell in bulk, then you're good. Um, you don't want to make it too expensive, obviously, because 
you know, people aren't going to want to spend $50 for a pair of socks. So just keep that in mind with all of the products. Um, and then you can come down here, you know, you're going to download everything. If you have your tags written, you can do that. And then you can just go ahead and hit publish to your Etsy shop. And so that's pretty easy to do. And of course, I showed you this using the word cloud, but there would be nothing stopping you from just taking this layout and making your own design here if you wanted to. Um, and so socks are pretty easy to make. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well in your first quarter. Um, I hope you're staying creative. I hope you guys are expanding your portfolio. I read all the comments. Thank you so much for all of the kind words. And because you guys were so patient and waited until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. Okay, so as promised, these are going to be your five bonus niches. So niche number one, level 40 unlocked. And of course, this one is very scalable because it can be level anything unlocked and not just levels in terms of one, two, three, four, five, but it can also be levels in terms of words um, like level husband unlocked or, you know, level second grade unlocked or anything like that. So you can be as creative as that with that as you want, but that is a really good scalable one that always sells very well. Number two, I'll take the chicken nuggets. Just funny. I don't know why, but a lot of people will buy chicken nugget shirts. Think of your kids. Number three, dad, grandpa, great grandpa. I just keep getting better. And of course you could scale that out for grandma as well or anything else that you like. Number four, I need a huge cocktail. <laughs> so you can figure out a way that you can, uh, you know, design those words to make it look, you know, very funny. And number five, I put ketchup on my ketchup. And so again, just funny niches. You can do these as words only, or you can use graphics. And there's, you know, endless amounts of ways that you can design for these niches. So go ahead, be creative, get some designs up. And I do hope to see you guys um, again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.